When you're working with shapes and other objects in Microsoft Word, you may find it really helpful to turn on the grid lines so you can get your sizing and your spacing just right. To do so, um, we're going to go ahead and select the objects that we do have that we want to use the grid for. And I'm doing that by using my shift button and then clicking. Click on the format tab. And then over here on the align button, you're going to click on grid settings. And right now our grid settings are on, so to show it under Show Grid, click a checkbox before Display Grid Lines on Screen. Now you can set these to be vertical um, every certain space. So by default, these are going to be one. That's your typical grid. If you want a larger grid, you can increase those numbers to make it a larger grid, and it's going to basically skip the grid lines that you don't put in there. Uh, you can also change this back to default after you've changed it by clicking the default button. You could choose to snap the objects to the grid when the grid lines are not displayed. So basically you can't see the grid, but you can still use it when you have this option chosen. Um, you can choose to use the margins when you have your grid um, completed, or you can choose to have it um, come about a different way. You can also choose the spacing and the vertical spacing for your grid and then choose to snap objects to other objects. So we're going to just leave this like this to display our basic grid. Go ahead and click OK. And we have a grid. Now we can use this grid to line up our objects whether it to be together or to be separately. And if we want to get back and turn those grid lines off, just select one of the shapes Make sure you're on the Format tab, click the Align button again, and then click to uncheck where it says View Grid Lines, and it's going to go ahead and take off those grid lines for you.